Hey, hi everybody. This is a request that I get quite often. People want to know how to make the Space Invaders player move in a more smooth fashion. This also applies to my Pong tutorial. So let's get started. So I've started here from my Space Invaders part two. You can download that. I'll put the link down below from GitHub and it'll give you an idea. Now, one thing to keep in mind, when I made the original Space Vaders tutorial, it was written in Python 2.7, so I'm gonna try and run it on Python 3.8 and see what happens. And the answer to that question is right now, nothing. And I entered the wrong thing. I don't know why this happens every single time I do this program now. But anyway, there we go. You saw how it popped up and then I suddenly got an error. So you see here it says raw input is not defined. This is because raw input doesn't exist now in Python 3. It's now just input. So that should fix that error. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I move right. And every time I push the key, it moves. So what we want to happen is to ha push it once and have it move smoothly uh, is one option. Now the other thing I would say here is it's probably actually better uh, is to change this to turtle.mainloop and see if that works. And that does the same thing. The other thing is that actually there's been quite a few changes from Python 2 to Python 3 in the turtle module. And if you're using like PyCharm or something like that, you've probably gotten some warnings that this doesn't work, that doesn't work, and that's a problem. So to fix that, you see where we up here we set up the screen win and so all you gotta do down here is instead of turtle listen we want the window to listen and then we want win win and I'm just using WN now I'm gonna test that and see what happens okay and so that is still working and you should not be getting any more of those warnings or errors except you might have to change this to on key press you notice I'm not getting the warnings and errors because I'm using genie and it just doesn't check those types of things so let's go ahead and try it one more time and it is still working so now to get to the main point of this video it's gonna require some changes okay, so where we have here player speed okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and set that to zero. Okay. And then in this whole section here, I'm going to delete that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say global player speed and then player player speed equals, I'm going to try three just for example. Actually, I should actually make negative three because I'm moving to the left. And I'll show you why in a second. So what we have to do, this is a different type of programming setup. You're gonna have a while true loop in your program to keep the game running. So what I gotta do is I'm going to move the player. So I'm gonna say player.setx to the player dot x core parentheses don't forget the parentheses plus the player speed okay so let's go ahead and try that okay when we start the player speed is zero I'm gonna push the left arrow and you can see how it goes right off the screen okay so let's go ahead and fix it so that the right works so Here's advice I always give my students. Something's working and you just gotta make a little bit of a change, copy and paste it. So all I gotta do here is go ahead and change that speed to positive three. So let's go ahead and test that. Notice how I'm testing all the time. So right, left, right, left, and off the screen. So all we gotta do is check for the borders, check borders, that, not check, uh, check borders. So if player dot x x core uh, x core is greater than don't forget the parentheses is greater than I think it was two ninety. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll say player dot set x to two ninety. So that's going to be our limit, and then I'm going to say player speed equals zero. Okay, 
And then I can do, again, I'm gonna, let's go ahead and test it. Just uh, kind of good practice here. So that's to the right side. So let's see if it stops. Okay, it stopped, it was a little bit over there. So I might wanna change that 290 to, maybe let's try 287, a few pixels. Let's just 285, I don't like that weird number. Um, 285, let's go ahead and try that. Okay, stops, that's exactly what we want. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and just make the necessary changes. Now watch this carefully, because I'll, I'll get a thousand questions about this. This is gonna be less than negative 285 and put that to negative 285. Okay, so if we go past the left border, stay, stay at the border and then player speed equals zero. So I got left, stops and I've got right and it stops and that is our smooth motion okay. now there's one other thing we could do that you might find interesting so I'm gonna go ahead and say def stop player and I'm gonna say global player speed I'm gonna say player speed equals zero so what I'm gonna do here is win dot on key release. Now this only works in Python 3 and above, it won't work in Python 2. I'm gonna say stop player if I release the left arrow. Now I also need to do the same thing for the right arrow. So what this does instead is when I release the key, so if I hold the key down, it moves until I let go of the key. So I'm holding down the left arrow, let go of the left arrow. Hold it down, hold it up. So you can do either style. If you don't want it to stop, you can just you know not put these lines in or you can comment them out. And so without the lines, if I push the right arrow, it moves until it hits the wall or until I hit a different arrow. Okay, so that is how you do smooth motion. Again, thanks to the people that commented and asked this question. Again, it's weird. I got three different questions this week. Uh, three different people asked the same question. So here is a video on how to do that. I hope it helps. Keep on coding. Subscribe for updates. Appreciate you taking the time. Take care. Bye-bye.